Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Makes a good point. A look at the Pistons starting group. Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Saban Lee is out there with Cunningham. And it's Stewart in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Philadelphia, Harris and MB. The 76ers will have a different look here. Jordan's checked in for Joel Embiid. Reed comes in for Tobias Harris. Niang, he's checked in for Thibel. And Korkmaz is subbed in for Maxi. Harden's shot is good. Guys, it's hard to shake Harden off his game. He's so strong and skilled. He keeps his balance right where he needs it. Pass to MP. Inside. Bagley down low. He can't get it to go. And Philadelphia the other way now. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. Jackson pass to MP. And here's Bagley. Lays it up and banks it in. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Harden. Here's the three. Philadelphia, the rebound. Here's Niang. The layup off target. Detroit has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Jackson. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Korkmaz. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's MP. Second shot opportunity. And no good. Some solid defense from Jordan. Here's Korkmaz. Here's Niang. Covered by MP. Outside Harden. Shoots over Jackson. Off target with the free throw line J. Good shot. Gone bad. You gotta finish there. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. The Sixers on top. Up three. And we'll be back in just... And you asked Joel Embiid. He's not satisfied with the way he's playing recently. I think I need to, you know... Uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. you got to feed him the rock, B.A., inside and help him get it going. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. We've got George Niang, James Harden out there with Furkan Korkmaz. Then there's DeAndre Jordan, and it's Reed in at the four. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Detroit calls timeout. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. Pass to the egg. Jackson against Harden. To the middle. Here's Reed. Blocked! On the wing, MP. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Philadelphia has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Well, you look at Harden. He doesn't beat you with great speed or by playing above the rim. He wins with pace, angles, and strength. As unique a score as we've seen in probably the last 30, 35 years in the NBA. 
The fadeaway. Stewart, no good. Philadelphia shooting a solid 53% from the floor. Here's Maxi. That went off the back iron and out. Detroit has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. MP drives in. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. Jackson against Harden. Tries to break his ice. And that's two points on the layup. Harden's got nine. He will not settle for a long jumper if he can get points inside. Harden will take any opening he can get. He exploits what the defense provides. Detroit calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Cunningham's checked in for Jackson. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Cunningham missing. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. To the right side. Here's Niang. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got his fourth assist in this one. And here's Cunningham outside. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. Sixers ahead, just dominating. Them. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. here for the 76ers. Jordan's checked in for Tobias Harris. Niang comes in for Theibel. And Korkmaz is subbed in for Maxi. And the free throw, no good. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines. But we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Brad, do you think that should count as part of their time? see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, not exactly compatible. Setting the floor for the Pistons. We've got Jackson. He's out there with Hamadou Diallo. Kelly Olenek is out there with MP. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. MP, the pass to Olenek. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Jackson finds MP. Shot clock at six. Pass to Diallo. Trying to get back on track. And that one's long. The 76ers have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Here's Korkmaz. Covered by Diallo. To the inside. MB. Well timed pass. And he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. I'll tell you what, I don't know if any center in the league can score in as many ways as Embiid. Maybe Jokic, but those two are pretty much in the class by themselves. Embiid showing us everything tonight. Olenek passes to Embiid, and it's blocked by Embiid. Here's Niang. He's got six. Takes the three. Hits the trifecta. Niang's got nine points. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson. Jackson's got his second bucket on the night. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Harden driving in. And then Harden with the jam. Harden is one of the most lethal penetrators in the game and excels at finding lanes to the rim. Jackson, the pass to MP. Back to Jackson. And Embiid with the block. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The Sixers on top, running away with it. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
<laughs> you can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. DeAndre Jordan is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Shake Milton. Then there's Danny Green. And it's Niang in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Milton against Hayes. Pass to Niang. And he dunks it down. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the 76ers. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. One other thing, their mid-range game has been impressive. A tough shot to rely upon, but they've had it going. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players, and it's inspiring, like I said. Here's Hayes. Oh, Green with a block. Excellent defender is Danny Green. He's instinctual, and he's got great court awareness defensively. Milton passes to Embiid. Comes up empty down low. For Detroit, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And MP with a basket on the assist by Hayes. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less... Hayes inside. Pass to Bagley. MP with it. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Milton passes to Embiid. That one goes. Count it. Embiid's got 10 points here in the second half. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Jackson on the wing. Green covering. Jackson right side. And he banks in the layup. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. The 76ers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's Niang. He's defended by Hayes. And it's Green missing. And for the Pistons, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. And that one's good. Bagley. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Jordan. Back to Milton. A minute 58 left in the fourth. And it's Bagley with the rebound. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. To the paint, Garza. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. And here's Milton. Pass to Niang. Back to Milton. Here's Embiid on the wing. Green. Five to shoot. Now Embiid. Outside Milton. Fires from deep. He drops it from range. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the 76ers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout. But tonight, they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them.
but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And it will be a fight. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning for Danny the players. Green. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Japan. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass on the layup. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they need. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it. They've done it. MP outside. Garza. Embiid covers. Detroit calls timeout. All right, guys, what's your take? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. The hoop looked about four feet wide for him tonight. I mean, his shooting was so dialed in. It really allowed for him to score the ball just over and over throughout the game. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. MP with it. Back to Hayes. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> Are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status? <laughs> I like it. Look, <laughs> I like it, to be honest, uh, especially because it's for a just cause. Yeah. Man, you know me better than anybody. I'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what I'm worth. I define that. As you should. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I booked an interview for you. Okay. To sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> So not clear the air. Well, Got it. The the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't going to like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. Yeah, I guess it's a fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like in the title, Brett, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. <laughs> How you doing, Frank? Oh, hey there. Good to see you. Okay. Ah, well, shall we begin? All you, Frank. What you got? Okay, well, let me look at my notes here real quick. Okay, I'd like to talk about the controversy surrounding the like of a tweet from user Start MP, you idiots, which states, and quotes... <laughs> Uh, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Right, okay, I know that one. Uh, okay, uh, could you tell me what was meant by liking that tweet? I mean, is it your belief that you're not being uh, properly maybe utilized by the coaching staff? Okay, so look, Frank, everybody wants to play, myself included, and that's just the nature of being a competitor. But I wouldn't say coach isn't utilizing me, right? It's more that I'm anxious to show everyone how I can help us win. Well, but the quote, I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face would suggest that you don't think the coaching staff is doing a good job of evaluating talent then. Honestly, I didn't read, I didn't read that part, so for that I do apologize. I just saw a fan giving me props, and I threw a like on it just to be nice. Now, the rest is just a misunderstanding, and I apologize again.
Okay, okay. So have you talked about this episode with your coach or front office, perhaps? Like, what do they think about all this? Hmm. Look, they know I want to play. And they think I'm not ready for more minutes, so it is what it is. So so they must have expressed dissatisfaction with how you chose to express those sentiments so publicly then, right? Look, they're not happy about it, just like I'm not happy about my minutes. You don't always get what you want in life. The world just keeps spinning, Frank. That's how it goes. All right, MP, do you have time for one more, perhaps? I'm so sorry, but I actually got to head out. Okay, all right, all good. No worries. Best of luck next game, all right? Hey, look, thank you, Frank. I'll catch you soon, man. All right, we'll see you then.